Yeah, some old guy coding again today, and you know Barb had uh, a bunch of plates that she put, wanted to put up on display, and you know all the walls were pretty full around this house, uh, but there was some space up above the passageway that goes uh, between the kitchen and the and the living room here, and uh, you know uh, Deborah and Barb would or Deborah, my wife, would keep showing me um, bringing forth uh, shelves that are sitting around that we could put up there, but. Um, you know, there isn't a lot of space up there. Um, so obviously if we put the shelf up and the vertical parts of the shelf have to be above the, the above the passageway, then, you know, we're going to have a problem. It's just not, it's not going to hold the plate. So I said, okay, I'll just I'll build the shelf. Uh, I went out and got some three-quarter by, uh, by uh, eight inch, I believe it was, uh, oak. Um, and I uh, uh, bought one piece that was eight feet long, and I said, that's going to be the length of the shelf. So, uh, you know, I did uh, miter the corners a little bit and rounded stuff over, and, and uh, on the top, um, I uh, a couple of grooves <coughs> with a handheld router, and, uh, you know, because some plates are thicker than others, you know, some are really thin, you want to stand them up in the back groove, um, if uh, if they're thicker, then they're going to have to sit in a closer groove. So I would recommend doing two or three even. Um, so we got that done, and uh, um, I have a uh, one and a half inch oak strip underneath it, which is really the the crux of all the support. Um, the the top board is uh, screwed every six inches into the support board. And then that support board is screwed to the wall. And I've got the two vertical pieces on the side, but they really don't do anything other than to sit there and look pretty. So, <laughs> and this is what I'm working on here in the video, is uh, trying to engrave uh, the rose pattern that we had used on some of the other shelves that we had made onto the vertical parts, or corbels, they're called, I think. C-O-B-S-U-R-B-E-L, uh, I think. And... Um, so you can see I, what I did is uh, I said right there I cut the pattern on the scrap board and I just laid the board on top of the pattern so that uh, I knew where it was going to go. And it turns out I was a little bit off and not all four of them because I did both sides of two vertical pieces where not all of them were the same. <laughs> <laughs> but good enough for my view of it here. Um, so yeah, that, that worked out quite nice. Um, so I just wanted to... Uh, we saw some of the cutting of the, the corals or the vertical pieces earlier, and I just want to show you the, the laser engraving. This is the actual speed. <clears throat> yeah, really, really slow, you know. And I had, uh, I was running at uh, 20 inches per second, and then I reduced uh, the speed to 20% on the uh, control uh, board there. So um, it looks like a huge light there but really it's just one bright little speck and um, it, you know if I were to put the red or red laser glasses or the green laser glasses whatever they're supposed to be in front of the lens and it'd be a lot easier to see I should have I should get a filter for that and uh, just do that sometime but yeah so this is the time lapse it took uh, quite a while to do that especially at 25 percent of the uh, speed and then in the end, there's always some little spots, and uh, so it's got to do the outside edge. That's what it is, the edges. So here's uh, the one on the opposite side. So I kind of flipped the whole thing around. But anyway, I won't show you anymore. Here's the result of the shelf being up and, and having most of the plates on it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, if I had to do it again, I would not use an 8-inch board for the... <laughs> For the uh, for the shelf because obviously eight inch board it covers you can't see all of the plates that you could if I had maybe used a four inch board you know be a lot closer to the wall so just my thoughts on, on that and uh, yeah that worked out well I had started that um, last fall before we had the fire and I've had the the wood sitting around here until uh, until uh, this past week when I finally got around to it so thanks for watching as usual see you next time. Appreciate all you subscribers, uh, Patreon, and uh, Patreon supporters, and and uh, all right, see ya.
But wait, don't go yet. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can see future episodes from this channel. And if you'd like to help out and support this channel, uh, go to patreon.com slash someoldguycoding for as little as a dollar a month. We really appreciate it. Thanks. See you soon.